If you have a tree that can't be removed due to tree preservation orders or owners refusing to cooperate, then a root barrier is the next best solution and in most cases is significantly cheaper than underpinning. Localized underpinning can be used to stabilize a building by drilling piles down to below the area of the tree's influence. However, this only stabilizes a small section of the building and as the tree continues to grow, extending its zone of influence, other areas of the property may become affected. A root barrier completely isolates the tree from the building, protecting the building as a whole. This provides a solution to the immediate problem and removes any future risk. Root barriers have come in for some bad press in the past as they were installed primarily by local authorities in their first incarnation to depths as shallow as one meter using brittle materials such as concrete. Not digging deep enough allows the roots to simply grow under the barrier and the use of rigid material inevitably results in the barrier fracturing, leaving openings for the roots to grow through. The modern root barriers we install are far superior to their ancestors due to their high tensile strength, high puncture resistance and capability of withstanding the differential forces that develop in clay soils. We use one continuous sheet leaving no gaps or overlaps and dig as deep as the tree dictates, typically 3.5 to 4 meters. Different situations require different approaches, so we use the latest technologies in design, planning and installation of the barrier so as to achieve maximum benefit for the client and the environment. Each site is risk assessed and appropriate control measures are put in place. A trench is dug using an excavator capable of reaching the specified depth. The use of a 30 cm bucket ensures we keep the trench as compact as possible. The area either side of the trench is protected using plywood sheets, which not only protect the ground, but spread the weight of the excavator. If services such as gas pipes or electric cables run through the barrier's path, then a seam is cut down to the pipe and the material is fed under. The pipe is then wrapped in a sleeve of the material, splayed at the end and then fused back to the barrier along with a strip to cover the seam using a heat welding gun. The clay removed from the trench is difficult to put back due to its viscous, sticky nature. It causes air pockets, which eventually collapse over time, requiring further visits to the site to refill. To avoid this situation, we backfill with pea shingle gravel to 0.6 meters, which consolidates to leave no air pockets. A further 400 millimeters of type 1 subbase is then compressed and topped off with 200 millimeters of topsoil. The area is finally finished to match existing surfaces with turf, gravel or patio tiles. Ultimately, it's all about isolating the tree's influence over the property, literally putting the tree in a pot. As we move through the seasons from winter into spring and summer, the tree wakes from its slumber and begins drinking from the ground, causing the clay soil around it to become desiccated. This desiccation causes the clay to shrink and the building to move. By inserting a barrier between the tree and the property, we essentially cut the pipe, leaving the soil on the far side of the barrier free from the thirsty tree roots, so the soil retains water and the building remains stable. Subsnet UK have been successfully installing root barriers since 1999 with incredible customer satisfaction levels and a 0% failure rate. If you have a tree that can't be removed, then a Subsnet UK root barrier could be just the solution you're looking for.